You didn't really use the term affordability, but let me put that term on the table. It's certainly suggested by the title and many of these stories. How do you look at affordability these days, Marty? Well, first of all, the public has a right to be angry right now. That's one thing that I learned. That was my number one take home message from this two year listening tour. When 48% of all federal spending is going to health care in its many hidden forms. And I, I mean that. That's not, I'm not misspeaking. We have a paper out on our restoringmedicine.org website under reports. We've got, I've got a piece in USA Today that explains it's not just Medicare and Medicaid. It's half of Social Security checks now are going to health care, co-pays, deductibles, non-covered services. It's 15% of the Defense Department's budget goes to health care for their own system. And that's separate from the VA, which is almost 5%. And interest on the debt is interest on health care spending. So almost half of federal spending is going to health care. People, American families are paying $20,000 a year on private health insurance on top of that. They say, oh, my employer is paying part, I'm paying part. No, they're paying all of it. It's coming from the same pool of money of wages and benefits. And then they get a bill for $4,000 and told this is not covered. People have a right to be angry right now. I, what I learned is, uh, We've got good people in healthcare at every level. This is not a system we designed. This is a system our generation inherited. And it's an entirely broken system. We've got good people working in a bad system. And so I've seen the disruptors on the price transparency front, on the direct contracting front, hospitals innovating, insurance companies using new models, and doctors saying, hey, look, our current system of practicing healthcare is broken. We don't like it. The patients don't like it. Why are we doing it? And as Rashika Fernandopol told me, this old model of you come in to see us as doctors, and we tell you exercise more, eat better, and then come back in a year and we tell you, <laughs> you bad, you know, bad non-compliant patient in 10 right. minutes and throw meds at you. Right. Look at the clinics that are now treating diabetes with cooking classes instead of just throwing insulin at people and treating back pain with ice and physical therapy more than surgery and opioids and treating loneliness with communities like ChenMed and treating um, cancer by talking about environmental exposures and health and food as medicine and treating chronic disease instead of just throwing pills at people. That's the exciting revolution in healthcare that I, I really um, loved learning about and sharing in, in that book.